Welcome to Bro Joe Builds. I'm guessing I caused a little bit of debate on uh, Facebook when I posted about the Vortec heads, um, whether or not you know you can actually get a good set of you know Vortec heads at a scrapyard. The reality is, you know, you can get a good pair of Vortec heads. I say at least two thirds of the time you can get a good set pair of heads. Sometimes you will get a cracked pair. I forewarn you. Uh, but right here, and during that discussion, I had a few people mention the Pro Max heads, the Pro Max Vortec heads. Now, the main reason why I'm making this video is to kind of steer you away from the Pro Max Vortex heads. For the same cost, you could get an Engine Quest Vortec head, which is a much better head, and we have one right here. This one's been uh, undercover ported. And we're going to be using it on a project very soon, actually. I'm going to have to pull all the valves out and um, lap them, you know, make sure everything's good. But th this head right here uh, flows very, very well. And, um, and eventually, we're going to be doing a build up with this head, even though uh, I'm going to show you soon that the valve guides are all worn. This head was a rebuilt head. And this is the same head that uh, we saw. In the previous video that I put in the blast cabinet but as we see here whenever your your valve could do that in the guide that's never a good sign and shows that you probably don't have the best core to build off of but like I said um, we're going to turn lemons into lemonade with the cylinder head and show what you can do with a factory casting but if we're comparing aftermarket castings to a factory casting, um, this casting is far superior. Again, if you look closely, you can see the port size difference and some of the undercover porting that had went on. This again wasn't done by me, so um, I, I purchased the cylinder heads very cheaply uh, from someone that was doing an LS swap. But if we look at these Engine Quest heads. Um, uh, I, I had to do some quick research and I'll, I'll put an insert whether or not this is how the insert uh, whether or not the heads uh, comes like uh, this or not but um, you see where the how the factory seals are on this cylinder head and how high they are normally when you're doing a performance build you'll cut them down and to you know so you don't have no retainer to valve seal clearance issues we see that that was taken care of here and on this head uh, the guide boss was cut down and they had screw in studs screw in studs are far more superior than uh, these press in studs which we would either have to drill and pin them or pull them out and tap them and put in either screw in studs ourselves or cut the bosses down and use guide plates and again more on that later when we work on this head later on but this head has an upgraded spring package and again this head is ported so this is isn't probably something that you're gonna get straight from engine quest but um the casting itself is far thicker now i, I don't have all the specs on that but i could tell by picking the head up and just going by just you know your pure weight you could feel the difference on the cylinder heads um, I know advertised stock that these heads, the, Vor the e Engine Quest heads, flow more than a stock pair of Vortex as well. And again, the, it's not a straight up comparo, but you can see that, yeah, um, they're, they're a nice set of heads. Um, this one has a 202 160 valve package, and you can see the difference here here goes then take valve size difference and we put this one here and leave them edge you can see that you can see the other valve overlapping it a little bit and these valves are undercut if you see right here it goes straight straight up off of the the valve face into the stem and this valve stem is actually back cut into the face. This is actually a nice uh, little setup here. 
And same thing with the exhaust valve. If you compare the exhaust valve, again, if we look at the tulip part of the valve, this is back cup, and this one isn't. And again, you can see the size difference between the two valves right here. Um, and for comparison, if we slide this in here, again, we don't got no up and down movement at all. So that's exactly how it should feel when it's inside the valve guide. Um, another thing that I think is the reason why this whole motor came apart is the, when I was talking to a gentleman while I was buying the cylinder head, he told me that, you know, he was, the engine wasn't running completely right and he just wanted to go with LS swap because he was tired of dealing with the carburetor type the issue or dealing with you know uh, older technology but after receiving these cylinder heads I saw this now you see that the spark plugs are all in the holes on the cylinder head but if we turn it sideways the spark plug doesn't even reach into the 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 won't even reach into the the bore and in the cylinder head. Um, this is what I said in the first video. You gotta make sure you use the right spark plug, the right reach spark plug with a Vortec head. This thing must have run like complete garbage, and he probably thought that it was you know a carburetor issue, ignition, bad cylinder, bad valve, or. It might have been popping and acting like crazy, but when your spark plug is sitting inside the inside its threads and not even sticking out into the chamber, it's not going to work very well at all. Um, so make sure when using a Vortec egg, whether it's an Engine Quest head like this one, or a aftermarket casting. Um, or factory casting like this one, you have to make sure you use a 750 reach plug of whatever type, you know, a plug that floats your fancy. Um, now, when it comes to comparing these Engine Quest heads to, uh, let's say, other uh, Vortec heads out there, these guys are the best. And for the same amount of money, you could get, you know, I think probably a JEGS version or a Summit version. You got, um, uh, Pro Max that has their version, but a lot of those other versions uh, are known to have issues. They're known to drop valves. They're known to have bad valve seats. But Engine Quest has known. They're known to be on the money. And Circle Track racers love them. Um, if you look at uh, uh, David Vizard. If I'm saying his name right, uh, he builds a lot of engines using Engine Quest Vortec heads. He's a strong believer of these heads, and um, after you know looking over these castings, there, there's no reason not to be. These are really good set of cylinder heads. The original goal was to build a cylinder head that can compete with an aftermarket casting like this one, if not outperform it, you know, with good you know mild porting and stuff like that over a stock casting. Uh, this one obviously was worked over and in a similar manner that I would have worked over this this head right now But again this this cylinder head deal is gonna go to a little bit more of an extreme and We'll, we'll show you what we'll do with that But um, if you're going to buy it at the market Vortec casting get an engine quest um, and you can get them everywhere, whether performance shops, and you can see them at Amazon or, uh, or eBay. I'll see if I could uh, tag some links below that where you could, you know, find a set of these cylinder heads. And um, again, you won't regret it. If you're going to look to buy an aftermarket ca casting or even buy a Vortec casting to be a, a replacement, if you look there and you're willing to spend, you know, a few hundred dollars more, buy an engine quest you, you won't regret, regret it and again um you gonna see these cylinder heads soon i'll be using them on a on a motor that's a little bit off to the side here let me see if i could tilt the screen a little bit uh, it's gold 
Yeah. Uh, a little small Chevy that I'm putting together for um, my Buick. And uh, again, we're going to see a little bit more of that as well as some other projects that I have all over the place. You'll see that there will be no shortage of projects here at Bro Joe Builds because, well, it's the nature of the car hobby. So again, with that being said, uh, please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you enjoy this and there's going to be plenty more content coming on this channel for you to watch and enjoy. God bless.